Conversion therapy is a discredited and harmful practice that attempts to change an individual's sexual orientation or gender and it's it's heinous i uh i, I made a short video this morning and in fact i'm going to I'm, I'm going to put up a an edited version of something that i that i made a few years ago um going into the reasons why homosexuality is not condemned in the bible and i might also add something that i wrote about uh, the parallel question of whether or not it's condemned in islam and my conclusion is it is not condemned in the quran either the the, the language which is used is language about uh, a cultish um, appropriation of um, sexual practices for some sort of pagan ceremony um, much the same as there were eunuchs in uh, in uh, con conducting rites in quite important pagan cults across the Roman Empire at the time of Christ and onwards and and significantly further back methods used in conversion therapy uh, the prayer counseling exorcisms and so on are, are are quite invasive they cause harm and they 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 leave people wrecked they don't do good and religion is there in all its forms to do good rather than to do harm these things do harm and the case came up because of a man called Matt Dapper who had attended an exorcism at St Thomas's Philadelphia Church in Sheffield part of the Newark Church Sheffield in 2014 to 2015 and during this time Miriam Cates who was a conservative MP and a vocal conservative MP was a board member of the church Dapper's experienced uh, Dapper's experience was definitely a form of conversion therapy and was aimed at stopping him from being gay. And in response to a complaint made by Dapper, the Diocese of Sheffield commissioned an independent investigation conducted by Bernardo's with the agreement of all relevant parties, including the Yorkshire Baptist Association and the trustees of Newark Church Sheffield. Indeed, there is a story that Miriam Cates denies that she attended a a, a Sunday a tutorial on exorcism technique. The investigation took two took place in two parts. The first part investigated the individual's complaint and upheld all four areas of the complaint made by Dapper, and this part focused on the specific incident of conversion therapy and exorcism imposition on Dapper. And the second part, part two, examined the current practices of St. Thomas's Philadelphia Church. And although significant improvements in policy and practice since 2014 were noted, Bernardo's made several recommendations to enhance safe giving, uh, safeguarding and ethical standards. And the trustees of Network, Network Church Sheffield accepted both parts of the report in full and developed a comprehensive action plan to implement the recommendations. The Bishop of Sheffield, the Right Reverend Dr. Pete Wilcox, reviewed the report, issued the, his own recommendations and aligned fully with Bernardo's findings and the action plan. The Diocese of Sheffield, along with the wider Church of England, has stated that conversion therapy is unethical, potentially harmful, and has no place in modern society. They emphasise their commitment to robust practices and policies to handle allegations of misconduct and abuse, ensuring survivors can come forward with confidentiality and confidence. And the, the, the report has been lightly redacted, but it has been published on the Diocese of Sheffield's website, and it reflects the efforts of the church to address this issue with transparency to implement the necessary changes to prevent such further bad practice in the future. 
The Church of England, it says, continues to urge anyone affected by similar experiences to contact their safeguarding team for proper support. And I, I, I will put up a, 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 um, a, a, video, a video version of the full, um, quite long video that I made in about 2012 or something, 2013 maybe, um, about the texts in the Old Testament, because it's the text in the Old Testament and the New Testament, because it needs to be contextualized and so much rubbish is still put out in the uh, YouTube and on the internet suggesting that uh, people know what they're talking about and that um, this thing about um, uh, homosexuality being condemned in the Bible uh, has biblical uh, has a biblical foundation. It doesn't. It's founded in prejudice and stupidity by people who don't know how to read in much the same way as a lot of the prejudice against Islam is based on people who have read spurious translations or have made their own translation as Tommy Robinson has done. And uh, all of this needs to be proper, properly um, targeted and explained by people who have got a background in the biblical languages, biblical and the Quranic languages. I'm afraid my Arabic is no longer as good as it was. Um, but uh, my Greek is still quite healthy and my Hebrew is solid. But um, I, I, I don't countenance this sort of rubbish from the internet. I, I, I seize on it. So, you know, be careful what you say in your comments, but I, I would be interested to know what you think. And... Um, uh, and 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 I, I I will respond as best I can. Um, but as I say, do do look at this extra video, which I'll be putting up in the next twenty minutes or so.